Hi, I'm Ian Trinion, an independent alternative media practitioner among other things. Uh, medyo ano muna tayo? Uh, audio only muna tayo kasi uh, first of first off, I need to get myself some not really rest, but uh, take a break because um, it's going to be uh, it's going to be late that is Sunday uh, by the ta- uh, next week by the time of this uh, recording. And I'm starting to and I'm starting to discern on how to um, how to share my uh, passion tide address for this year. So uh, I guess I'm going to you know uh, I'm going to start writing that. That's going to be my last major um, last major uh, video before Holy Week because uh, as you all know. I always take a break every Holy Week, whether here on YouTube or uh, in in the work that I do. So I also told my students na walang wala kami klase sa Holy Week. Uh, even though uh, man, ito, uh, lunes Santo hanggang Miyerkules Santo, technically pwede pang pumasok. But anyway, I am not letting them. Ano, I'm not letting them. Uh, parang uh, what well, I mean for my class. I mean. For the uh, for my class, eh, wal la muna. So yun lang naman. Anyway, mga kababayan. Uh, sorry for the no. Sorry for the rambling here. And this is basically you know this is basically um uh I hope this is going to be a quick update. Kasi marami rin din yung ano kapag usapan natin dito sa ano natin sa ating um uh, quick fire commentary sa ano uh, sa mga nangyayari ngayon. So uh, first off is about um Valentin Rosales, uh, you all know the, you know you all know this thing, and uh, honestly, what I can just say about that guy is that uh, he's forever known as one of the guys, uh, one of the guys who uh, were present during Christine Dacera's final hours. So, uh, yun lang naman yung sa akin, and uh, I I'm very much uh, not really pissed off, but really questioning. Why on earth is he doing this? Na parang uh, parang inimply niya or uh, inapply niya yung bad publicity is still publicity na uh, premise. Now, I guess ano? I guess yun lang naman ang ano ang pwede nang gawin ngayon kasi nga uh, nadawit siya do sa ano sa pagkamatay ni Dasera. And honestly, it's a it's a very you know it's a very uh, uh, I cannot say questionable, but it's very, you know, it's a very complicated, um, complicated case. It's a complicated situation. Uh, Dasera was very much a promiscuous girl um, during her short life, and uh, yeah, it's just, you know, it's just sad that this is being, you know, this is being um, uh, dealt with. But uh, on the flip side of things, uh, the the people. Uh, the people who are so whom he's supposed to support uh who wears the color pink you know who uh who I'm talking about eh baka kasi sa kanila medyo ano eh medyo well off sa buhay eh and i do not um i do not have uh, any you know any problem with that because uh you know that it's their choice but it's a disservice it's a disservice to the candidate in question that um most of uh the supporters of this candidate are uh that that are very much alive on social media are uh of the bourgeoisie type or the uh in the middle class or let's say the upper middle class of uh, our society and uh it's an absolute disservice kasi meron din siyang mga lower middle class and even um classes D and E in I uh, know in uh in her not really in the candidates uh fan base if not uh, no, if not um it's uh the candidate's support base so it really is a disservice and um it's good that uh I do know at least one at least a person or at least uh, a guy who uh tries to police uh his um uh police uh, the ranks of uh, this candidate supporters na let's not ano let's not limit this to ano let's not limit this to the uh to uh, 
Burgis uh, Burgis posting. Let's not ano, uh, let's not uh, deal with that or let's not ano, uh, let's not How do I say this? <laughs> Um, let's be inclusive. Parang yun yung gusto niyang sabihin. And I really hope that um, this wouldn't, ano, this wouldn't uh, let this candidate down. This Burgis posting that uh, some of the candidate supporters uh, are doing. So uh, we'll deal with that later on in the final, in the, in the final uh, item of this, ano, of this uh, quick commentary. Now let's go to uh, Kong TV, because. Also in the past week there are ano there's this um fake news post that uh that some celebrities were allegedly being ano were allegedly being uh, paid for them to show up in another candidate's ano in, in another candidate's rallies and uh, this is probably the uh the other main contender uh in this uh, race to the Malacañang so uh etong si Kong Ano na lang siya eh, parang He just ano, he just made uh he just made this ano uh he made this an advantage to uh make a comedic ano, comedic response about this matter and he just said uh hindi ko na maalala yung sinabi niya pero parang sinabi niya yung nag yung magvalorant nga ano eh pinipigilan ako, pinagbabawalan ako eh political rally pa kaya. So That really, you know, that was really the turning point for some people. Nasa sabi nila, pati timpayaman din namin ninyo. <laughs> Nananahimik sila dito. They're just doing their thing. And uh, they don't have to. It's their choice na, wag, na hindi sila, ano, na hindi sila mag uh, sumama sa mga gantong political rallies. And it's because they don't want to. They don't want to. It's not their, ano, it's not their, it's not their fucking business, uh, actually, to do that. Yun yung, ano eh. Yun yung, uh, ano dun eh. Kumbaga, they just wanted to have some fun vlogging, making content, and that's it. And uh, let's remember, Kong TV is gonna be a father. V. Cortez is, uh, is pregnant with his, so- uh, with his son. And uh, syempre, as we all know, and as we see in the, ano, in either Kong's uh, posts or in, in V's, Uh, updates o dun sa ano na sa mga ibang kasamahan niya sa Paya Mansion he's a hands-on dad he's a ito ito inaalaga, inaalagaan niya si V eh. so alam mo yun parang pinagbabawalan na nga siya ni V na mag-Valorant or nililimitahan na lang siya ni V na mag-Valorant at uh, siguro hindi na nga rin siya nakakapag-basketball dahil ano eh dahil um, inaalagaan niya si V dahil ma- malapit na siyang mga anak eh. Eh, mag- pol- mal- ma- sumama pa sa political rally, di ba? I don't know. It's just, ano eh, it's just, uh, it's just stupid that he's doing, uh, he's, um, that he's doing that. And it's absolutely, ano, it's absolutely, uh, sabihin na natin, ano, impossible na gagawin yun ni Kong o kung sino, ng, kung sino man sa team payaman, his brother is getting married. Ah, uh, tayo his girlfriend is, ano, his, uh, is about to give birth. At sana magpakasal na rin tong si Kong kasi nga, ano eh, technically, nagkocohabitate sila eh. So, might as well, ano, might as well uh, seal the freaking deal, man. Ah, uh, tayo siya sabi ko na yan, last year pa. Yun lang naman yung sa akin, Kong. Do it. Just do it. Ayoko magpakasaya lebaf dito, pero, yeah, just do it, Kong. Just do it, man. Yun lang naman yung sa akin. And then uh, another uh, no, another topic here is that uh, we have uh sabihin na natin ano, there are follow up ano, there are follow up uh um commentaries regarding Pope Francis's intention to consecrate Russia and Ukraine to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And uh I have observed and uh, it's not just my own, own observation and uh, I have uh, Uh, some of my contacts have also observed this and i think they have been too nitpicky these um these um uh, these certain group of see these certain groups of people have been nitpicky when it nitpicky when it comes to uh, uh fulfilling our lady's requests uh fulfilling our lady's requirements for the consecration of russia 
Kasi, ano eh, as I've mentioned in my previous videos, there are three, um, there are three, sabihin na natin, ano, uh, there are three, uh, conditions, uh, in Our Lady's, ano, in Our Lady's request to, uh, consecrate Russia to the Immaculate Heart. And, uh, I have already mentioned that in the previous video, but uh, for uh, for the for I uh, know for everyone's know uh, for everyone's um, for everyone's knowledge or for everyone's know uh, uh, for the sake of everyone who has not yet watched that, it's that uh, uh, Russia has to be consecrated to the Immaculate Heart specifically and explicitly. Uh, the the Pope has to do that. Uh, the bishops of the world should join the Pope in consecrating Russia to the Immaculate Heart. And finally, uh, that um, that uh, lay people should also consecrate themselves to the Immaculate Heart uh, on, f- uh, on five consecutive first Saturdays. So, uh, the point of contestation here is the, uh, the inclusion of Ukraine in the consecration and the... Uh, the language used by the Pope in inviting, not commanding the bishops or mandating the bishops to uh, join him in consecrating Russia. So, it's a little bit of a nitpicky, uh, nitpicky attitude. Na why do why do we even have to? Uh, why do we even have to? Uh, you know, uh, be this nitpicky when it comes to? Uh, when it comes to? Uh, uh, the requirements. Isn't that a little bit too scrupulous? Yun lang naman yung sa akin. It's, isn't that a little bit too scrupulous that we are, you know, that um, we are arguing all about the technicalities on the specific, the, spe- uh, the specified stuff? I get it. I absolutely get it. Okay? But can we just, can we just be uh, happy that the Pope is doing it and the uh, breaking news his predecessor, Pope Benedict XVI, is also join, joining the Holy Father in consecrating Russia and Ukraine to the Immaculate Heart. So, at the very least, there are two popes that are that are uh, participating here. And then, you have the, uh, the bishops of Latin America and the Caribbean, as well as the Philippines, intending their, ano, their uh, participation in the, in the consecration before the Pope even... Ano, even uh, provided uh, an instruction to invite all bishops of the world to do so. So, why is it that uh, these people are too cynical or at least too critical about this consecration of Russia thing? I get it that uh, Pope Francis has been a bad pope at some point. Or, or sabihin na natin eh, uh, there are really things that are absolutely questionable about his pontificate, but not this, not this time, not this uh, action that he did, because whatever he has, um, whatever he has uh, proven uh, lacking in terms of uh, his papacy, at the very least, let's give his holiness uh, credit where credit is due. So yun lang naman yun sa akin. Let's. Uh, let's not, uh, no, let's not uh, make mountains out of molehills. Let's pre- let's prepare ourselves to consecrate ourselves uh, for for the sake of world peace, as uh, in, in particular peace in U- in Ukraine. So please, lang, um, if you're hearing this, uh, if you're hearing this uh, message, please, uh, let's just, uh, let's just uh, talk about this after the consecration has been done because it is not helpful at all to uh, be nitpicky at this time that's uh, so much for uh, the issue about the consecration of Russia and I think uh, no, I think um, one contact of mine on Facebook says it all shut up and uh, no, pray your rosary yun na lang ang, ano, yun na lang ang, ang masasabi ko let's just shut our mouths and pray our rosaries that's it let's pray that this uh, that this works properly. Yun lang naman. Anyway, yun, I, I think that's all, that's all I can uh, say about that matter. 
and then we go to the rally of this certain candidate uh, which is colored pink and uh I do not have any uh question about it it's their uh, it's their right of assembly that's fine and uh the fact that the mayor of that of that place uh, allowed the rally in the first place that that only means that uh I don't have any qualms about it uh it's just that I hope that uh, because it was a sunday I hope uh the people who are believers in the crowd went to church before attending this rally and uh, I think hapon o gabi yon. so I hope they uh, nagsimba sila prior to uh, prior to coming here uh, during the morning or kung malapit sila siguro nagano sila ng 12 uh, 12 noon na misa so I really hope that they went to mass or they went to their uh, church services uh, before attending this rally so I I hope it's the it's what they did And uh, na- may nakita nga akong ano eh. I don't know if this is going to be a meme pero parang ano siya, meme statement siya in on a poster na sabi ano, um pasensya na po, uh, pasensya na po, papicture na lang po. May ano, may magso-serve pa po ako mamaya, mamaya baka magalit si Father. And I think that's a very good attitude na pinaprioritize pa rin yung ano, yung uh, tungkulin or yung tungkulin na magmisa, magsimba tuwing linggo. And uh, for uh, for someone who is uh, who is uh, active uh, in his or her parish, that uh, he would serve at mass or assist at mass uh, after uh, after uh, coming to this ano coming to this rally. Parang sumaglit lang siguro siya and then umalis na para makapag ano makapag serve pa siya sa misa, which is a very good attitude uh, for that kind of ano for that kind of. Uh, Uh, person who is involved in partisan politics. I really hope that um, that would be the case for everyone else. Yun na naman yung sa akin. But then again, I do ano, I do question the uh, the rationale behind these ano, political rally rallies from all sides of the political spectrum. Kasi ang political rally pwede, pero ang procession bawal. Anyare, di ba? Sana all makalabas at makapag procession, 'di ba? I I understand that people wanted to come together and support uh their ano, their uh favorites in the race to the Malacañang, in the race to the vice presidency, in the race to the Senate, in the race to any political office, but I think it's about time that people also uh uh allow the uh allow processions as well religious processions to uh, take place kahit paikot lang ng simbahan o paikot lang ng uh, parokya ng ng isang ano ng isang parokya okay na yun eh i really hope that as much as we are very much uh, involved in these kind of political rallies we should also be involved as well in returning to the normal normalcy of uh, parish life of uh, of religious life kasi marami din tao ang ano na nakaka-miss ding magprosesyon myself included so i really think that political rallies uh, i mean processions rather uh, should uh, should be allowed as well if uh, political rallies are in are allowed de ba i mean nakakaano lang din it's just my ano it's just my perspective on this I really do question why on earth um why on earth uh people are uh going on political rallies but not on processions. They have the they have the right and the, the privilege to they have the right to uh speak up in their own ano, in their uh in their choices, in their political choices, but uh it seems that they don't care about the moral and spiritual life of this nation i hope i'm wrong so i really think that uh people should know people should uh think of returning processions in the life of um in the life of our society so yun lang naman yun and again uh, before i ramble too much i would end this video here if you 
uh, if you uh, appreciate this kind of commentary, make sure to uh, like this uh, no, like this video, share this video around, subscribe to this channel, ring the notification bell by selecting all. And if you're very gener generous enough, you can uh, donate uh, through Patreon, buy me a coffee, or through my PayPal account. The links to them are in the description below. So with all that said, this is Intrepidi and Rinyon reminding you to at all times be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Until then, look alive, stay alive, and as always, thank you for watching. See you next time. Ian out.